2014 is the International Year of Crystallography and that's a UNESCO uh, sponsored thing which uh, is about promoting crystallography to the general public and in particularly taking it out to third world countries uh, and enabling the science that we do uh, to be performed in some of these up and coming nations. Crystallography is the detailed analysis and understanding of the structure of materials and those materials can be anything from the minerals that make up the earth through new chemicals that are generated in laboratories in chemistry departments or in pharmaceutical industries all the way through to biological molecules, proteins, viruses, that kind of thing. Well, we need those crystals that we're using here in the crystallographic experiments because we couldn't look at a molecule with a microscope at that resolution. So we're going via the crystal, crystal state to look at the atomic structure of them. And that is essential to understand how a drug binds. So at Southampton here we have uh, a number of centres, um, the Optoelectronics Research Centre, um, Electronics and Computer Science, and these are cutting edge uh, departments. Um, and they're all looking at making new devices, um, so energy storage and all these sort of very popular topics at the moment. And they all come here to chemistry because we house this state-of-the-art instrumentation. We have an organisation called the Southampton Diffraction Centre and that, uh, that covers uh, chemical crystallography, biological crystallography, material science and a significant amount of education. So if we're doing crystallography, this is the best place to be. You've got access to different types of machines and we've got really bright sources, we can collect data really quickly and you've got great expertise in the people, so if you've got problems you can get a lot of help and support with all your work. The crystallisation itself is set up as a facility inside biological sciences and it's supported by the structure of the in uh, Institute for Life Sciences, the IFLS. Uh, what we are very lucky with is having a partnership with Rigaku uh, to have this kit and are at the newest level of development in crystallography.